Senator Dick Durbin, Democrat from Illinois, thank you for coming on the program. Great perspective. We appreciate thank it. You, very you must much. come back. And now we turn to Republican Congressman Don Manzullo. He is also from Illinois. Congressman, good to see you. Uh, good to see you. I'd like to, I'd like to just take one little bit of news that came out today, at least in the Wall Street Journal is reporting that GMAC, the financing arm of GM, may get another $7 billion out of the TARP program. Uh, now, some people at Ford are saying, hey, this ain't fair. Uh, they're going to get an unfair competitive advantage. We didn't take a dime of taxpayers' money, but the government is now defending one of its own because they've invested so much in it they're, that they're going to give GM an unfair advantage. Uh, do you believe that's true? Do you believe that the level field should be more, uh, should be more, the playing field should be more level now? The, the problem is that as we look at what happened with our economy, Washington is not placing enough emphasis upon increasing consumer demand. Senator Durbin and I both share the Chrysler facility in Belvedere, Illinois, right, and we right. had, we're going to lose about 900 more employees there. But instead of spending billions and billions of dollars of money that we don't have, of future taxes from future workers that don't even exist, we have to ignite the fire of consumer demand. We have to get the manufacturing chain going again. And that's why I've introduced the bill to give a $5,000 point of sale voucher to anybody who buys a new car. That will restart the supply chain. That gets America working again. In fact, just a few minutes ago, I signed on to a bipartisan bill with Congresswoman Betty Sutton of Ohio, uh, who also uh, recognizes how difficult it is to, uh, to sell automobiles. This will give up to a $4,000 voucher. If you trade in your automobile and the automobile and the new automobile gets at least four miles more per gallon than the, than the, than the car that you traded in. So now we're starting to go in the right direction because we okay. have to get the supply chains going again. Otherwise, we're just pouring in money from the top and we're wasting it. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously, targeted incentives and vouchers, to me, is such an easy choice to do. I, I, I look it, forward to hoping to see whether you get some traction. But let me get to unemployment. You just mentioned yes. the Chrysler plant in northern Illinois, another 900 workers that would possibly be out of work. How bad do you think unemployment is going to get? The Congressional Budget Office today saying about 10.3%. Well, it's... it's, it's um, I mean, as Senator Durbin said, we're not dealing with figures. We're dealing with real, live people. People, sure. Uh, people unable to pay, make their mortgage payments, keep their kids in college. Uh, people just are throwing their arms up saying, we don't understand what's going on. But the only way to get people back to work is to give them orders. And that's why we have to light the fire at the feet of the consumers who still have the money, who still have the ability to buy new cars, get the supply chains going, then things will begin to right themselves. Congressman, i got to press you on GMAC because you didn't answer my question. Yes. Do, you support, answer is, do you support no, another no. $7 billion no. for GMAC? I think, now I said you asked the question twice, I think I gave you five or six no, Simon. <laughs> the reason right. is that GMAC is now, is now a regular bank. I mean, they can gotcha. take demand deposits. They are, in, they are in direct competition with community banks. Mm -hmm. Well, you uh, gave and, us. and credit unions all over the place on it, and, and, and just pouring money into GMAC, I'm sorry, that's not going to take care of it. Perfect. Thank you all very right. much. Sorry I didn't hear it clearly, but you made it as clear as, as it could possibly be. We thank you very much for joining us, thank Congressman. You. Thank Representative you. Mensa.